mind-blowing scientific facts mentioned in the Quran. Indeed, the Quran, which was revealed 14 centuries ago, mentioned scientific facts only recently discovered. These are just some of the many scientific facts found in the Quran. Number 1 Frontal Lobe in Surah Al-Alaq, in the story of a man named Abu Jahl, who was a cruel oppressive tribal leader in the times of the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, Allah revealed a verse to warn him. Therein Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, No, indeed, if he does not stop, we will seize him by the forehead, his lying sinful forehead. Quran chapter 96 verse 15 and 16. According to a book titled Essentials of Anatomy and Physiology, it is clearly stated that the forehead or frontal area of the brain is responsible for motivation and foresight to plan and initiate movements. All this takes place in the prefrontal area of the brain. The part of the brain that is responsible for movement and planning is said to be seized if he does not stop. Other studies have proved that it is this prefrontal region that is responsible for the function of lying. Another study at the University of Pennsylvania in which volunteers were questioned during a computerized interrogation showed that the volunteers who were lying had increased activity in their prefrontal and premotor cortices. Subhanallah. There is a deep meaning behind why the Quran stated, we will seize him by the forehead. Number 2. Water In Surah Lambia, it was revealed, We made every living thing from water. Will they not believe? Quran chapter 21 verse 30 And it was only after the discovery of the microscope that it was concluded that all living things consist mostly of water. While in the deserts of Arabia, the last thing a man could guess is that all of life ultimately came from water. Number 3 universe the big bang theory in surah lambia allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also states have those who disbelieve not considered that the heavens and the earth were a joint entity and we separated them quran chapter 21 verse 30 in 1929 american astronomer edwin hubble proposed the hubble's law according to which all entities in space are moving away from the earth at speeds proportional to their distance that is the greater distance from earth the faster they are moving soon after this he discovered that galaxies are moving away from each other as well which means that the universe is expanding overall this laid the basis for the big bang theory which states that around 12 to 15 billion years ago, the universe came into existence from one single extremely hot and dense point. Due to an explosion of this point, the universe came into being. The universe since then has been expanding from this single point. In 1965, radio astronomers Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson won the Nobel Prize for the discovery that confirmed the Big Bang Theory. When looking at the verse cited above, while acknowledging Allah knows best, it remains astounding that the Quran has already revealed Allah knows best, it was a joint entity and we separated them. Number 4. Embryology In Surah al muminun Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, We created man from an extract of clay. Then we made him as a drop in a place of settlement, firmly fixed. Then we made the drop into an alaka, leech suspended thing and a blood clot. Then we made the alaka into a mutra, a chewed substance. Quran chapter 23 verse 12 to 14. Science has only proved this with the help of latest technology. It is Professor Emeritus Keith L. Moore who is one of the world's most well-known scientists in the field of anatomy and embryology, who said that it is clear to me that these statements must have come to Muhammad from God, because almost all of this knowledge was not discovered until many centuries later. 
Number 5. The Sky's Protection In Surah Al-Anbiya, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And we made the sky a protected ceiling, but they from its signs are turning away. Quran chapter 21 verse 32 It is a scientific fact that the sky, with all of its gases, protects the earth and life that is present on it from the harmful rays of the sun. If there was no protective layer, life on earth would cease to exist as the temperature on earth would be freezing at minus 270.556 degrees Celsius, the same as the temperature in space. Number 6. Iron with Meteorites In Surah Al-Hadid, it is written that we send down iron with its great inherent strength and its many benefits from humankind. Quran Chapter 57 Verse 25 According to M. E. Walroth, iron is not natural to the earth. Scientists state that billions of years ago, the earth was struck by meteorites. It was within these meteorites that iron was present, and due to explosion on earth, we now have iron available to us. The Quran, as stated above, has already enlightened us of this fact by stating, We send down iron with its great inherent strength. Number 7. The Meeting of the Seas In Surah Rahman, it states, He released the two seas meeting side by side. Between them is a barrier, so neither of them transgresses. Quran chapter 55, verse 19 and 20 Science has discovered that in places where two different seas meet, there is a barrier that divides them, which helps both the seas maintain their own temperature, salinity, as well as density. Number 8. Sun Moving in Orbit In Surah Lambia, it states, And it is He who created the night and the day and the sun and the moon. All heavenly bodies in an orbit are swimming. Quran chapter 21 verse 33 Although it was only a widespread belief in the 20th century amongst the astronomers, today it is a well-established fact that the sun, the moon, and all other bodies in the universe are moving in an orbit and constantly moving, not stationary, as commonly thought before. Number 9. Mountains as Stakes In Surah an naba Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, have we not made the earth a resting place and the mountains as stakes? Quran chapter 78 verse 6 and 7 In a book by geophysicist Frank Press called Earth published in the year 1986, he explains how the mountains are like stakes and are buried deep within the earth's surface. Mount Everest, which has a height of approximately 9 km above sea level, has a root deeper than 125 km, thus only reinforcing the Quranic revelation of the importance and strength of mountains on our Earth. Number 10. Expansion of the Universe In Surah Dhariyat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And the heaven we constructed with strength, and indeed we are its expander. Quran chapter 51 verse 47 According to the prominent physicist Stephen Hawking in his book A Brief History of Time, the discovery that the universe is expanding was one of the great intellectual revolutions of the 20th century. Although centuries before, the Quran has already revealed to us that in regards to the universe, we are its expander. Number 11. Pain Receptors In Surah Nasa, it is stated that we shall send those who reject our revelations to the hellfire. When their skins have been burned away, we shall replace them with a new one, so that they may continue to feel the pain. God is Almighty, all wise. Quran chapter 4 verse 56 For a long time it was thought that the sense of feeling and pain was dependent on the brain. However, it has been discovered that there are pain receptors present in the skin. Without these pain receptors, a person would not be able to feel pain. This is another example of the scientific miracles of the Holy Quran. Number 12. Internal Waves in the Oceans In Surah Nur, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed, or they are like darkness within an unfathomable sea which is covered by waves upon which are waves, or which are clouds, darknesses, some of them upon others. 
when one puts out his hand therein he can hardly see it and he to whom allah has not granted light for him there is no light quran chapter 24 verse 40 incredibly oceanographers have stated that unlike the belief that waves only occur on the surface there are waves that take place internally in the oceans below the surface of the water invisible to the human eye these can only be detected through special equipment more such facts are already mentioned in the quran and will be proven in the future by mankind as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the quran in surah rahman